Kuchi, right. and it mentions whatever the Prophet gives you, take it, and whatever he doesn't give you, don't take it. So the context is war booty. It's not in relation to the guidance. Correct or incorrect? Read it now. When we take it out, we'll see what it talks about. Inshallah. Okay. And there are many more examples. Well, please educate me. We'll educate each other. Inshallah. Wama atakum. By the way, this is a very big topic, so inshallah, I hope that we can discuss it some other Oh, yeah, time. yeah, no, 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 we can, we can because, do it now. Because this is something that I have not had the opportunity to properly discuss, and I'm interested to get the best possible feedback on the topic. So do you personally pray? I do. Then why, why, why do you pray if, if it's not mentioned how to pray in the Quran? Okay, do you know what the Quran says about Salah? I know because I've looked at every single ayah on the topic. Okay, what does the Quran say about Salah? Yifama, standing. Yeah. Ruku'a, sujood. Yeah. It mentions uh, mentioning of the word of Allah in there. Yeah. It mentions wudu, even tayammum it mentions yeah. in there. Okay, okay, okay so how to do that. Pardon? But not how to do with those. Do you, does somebody, oh, actually it does. It mentions your hands, it mentions your face, it mentions your feet, it mentions your head. Okay. It mentions all of them. Okay. I mean, Allahu Alam, I'm just... In, uh, in every detail. Well, this is the thing. You have to, you yeah. cannot, you cannot say, we do this now, we don't find it in the Quran, therefore it's missing. Okay. I'm saying the logical trajectory is, what does the Quran say? Is our practice in accordance with that? Because, let, let's say for the sake of argument, if we talk to the Jewish people yeah. who accept the Talmud, they will say that our practice comes from the Talmud, we don't find it in the Torah. And in fact, this is the argument they make. The argument okay. is backwards. Where is the war bit? Where is the booty bit? Okay. Ma afa Allahu ala rasulihi min ahli al qura So basically what Allah has given to the Rasul min ahli al qura from the people uh, of the of the town areas. of the town so what is that what did, he, yeah. What, yeah. What, what did allah give to him from there was it revelation or was it booty or was it what who, who said that who? I, i'm asking you is that revelation yes it is revelation Ma, what is that? No, are you imposing now a meaning on the quran I'm telling, you, I'm telling you there's no logical way you can interpret that as revelation no your logic is not what interprets the quran agreed agreed no, agreed no, no. Is that revelation? No, this, this is the point now. You would rather use your logic to find a context of the Quran than the prophetic tradition. The prophetic tradition is not historically reliable. It is contradictory. Why? With the Quran. Why, why is it not historically reliable? Now, let's talk about that first. Now that, okay. we, now that we know you're using your logic to interpret the Quran, I reject your logic. I, your logic is as good as... Afala uh, tatafakkaroon. Afala ta'qilun. What does it mean? Yeah, what does do it you mean? not think? Do yeah. you not use the, your mind? It's, oh, no, no. It's, it's not telling you to use your logic yes, to accept But it's a repeated refrain now, for a reason. Now you're doing yes. exactly what you're accusing me, people like me of. You're right? blindly accepting narration. No, I do not, not using your mind. I do not understand the Quran from my own logic. I don't. I refuse to do that because well, I know... Allah tells you you can. Why don't you do it? No, Allah is not telling you to use your logic to understand the Quran. Where? Where is He asking? Where is He telling you to use And when the verses. Afala yatadabbarun al Quran. Yeah, you're going to tell me the verses. Iqtalaf al Kathira. Okay, here Allah is giving you a specific question. If there are discrepancies, if there are contradictions in the Quran, then it is not from Allah. Okay? Correct. Here Allah is not asking you to interpret the Quran or do ta'wil of the Quran or tafsir of the Quran from your own logic. Allah is asking you to go and find contradictions. Right? No, no, He's saying to that find if you consider it deeply, they would have. So, so now we have a disagreement and you okay, want to use logic okay, yeah. over the hadith. I don't want to do that. I would rather go to the Prophet, okay, to interpret the Quran than come to people like you or someone else. Right? How about, how okay. about we make the Quran the Muhaymin on this topic? And who makes it Muhaymin? When you say Muhaymin, one verse is Muhaymin over another, uh, who interprets the first verse to make it Muhaymin? Uh, for another because Allah has made like you have done just now Quranun Mubinun. Okay. okay, Mubin in what and sense? It is clarifying and in itself also clear. Okay, so when Allah and says Mufassal, detail, okay. logic okay. is subjective. Okay. okay, your logic will make so. So, where did you get the how do you pray? How do you pray? I follow the guidance of the Quran on that topic. Quran I can't tell you where to where do you place your hands. 
irrelevant. No, that's very relevant. And, and, and let's not, you know, try to slip out of arguments. Let's be straight and deal with the question. How do you pray? I, as, as a Muslim, I'm asking, how do you pray? When you say Allahu Akbar, I don't do you, that. So you don't do that. What do you do? Because the hand raising and even the position of the hands, in, it is in the historic history of Islam, not consistent. When do you Pal pray? How often wait, do you pray? Wait, wait, okay, wait. Let, let me finish my point. I'll talk to you. The followers of Malik. Wait, wait, I'll show you the consistency. Malik, no, Malik and his people, because the practice of. I'm asking you, the forget Malik. Of Mecca, forget. Have your hands like this. Other people, how they do, do you like pray? this. How do you pray? I stand, recite Quran. How, I how bow, do you stand? And I do sujood. How do you stand? If Allah gives a piece of information, that's all you need. Adding all these extra details, you're going backwards. But you say you pray. The Quran says, Wa aqimu salah. Establish prayer. How? I'm asking you, how do you establish prayer? Simple question. You see, I just see the, answered the you question. See the, no, you haven't answered the question. You're not standing, telling me how. How? Standing. How do you stand? I, I want to demonstrate. I pray like this. I've just demonstrated how I pray. How do you pray? Stand. How do bow, you stand? Go down to prostrate. Can, can you show me? How do you stand and how do you bow and how do you? I'm standing. I just demonstrate. Look, this is simple. I'm You're making figure. it a bit difficult. Yes. Yeah. I'm saying this question. is how I pray. Allahu Akbar. Okay. Uh, you're going the wrong way around. You're following I'm these extra things and saying it's not in the Quran. Stand means stand. There's nothing else to it. Okay. How do you stand? When you when, how do you start the prayer? Let's say you are now starting the prayer. How do you start the prayer? What do you do? You see the difficulty I, now? That there's a reason why you cannot answer this question. Oh, okay, you refuse I, to answer this question. No, no I can't. There's answer. a reason because you do not have a consistent standard to to to, to stand by. You know, you are in trouble. Uh, your, sta your, your standard question. is basically the uh, the what's the word the consensus of people hundreds of years no yes no yes no okay you the don't hadith, know what my standard is the hadith literature have you studied the science of hadith have you studied it actually i have a good idea but yes so you haven't studied it okay the but answer is you haven't studied let's it let's discuss it right now you can tell me okay. if i've studied it how can you judge uh, a science without studying it <laughs> okay how can you judge it i have read it up i know a good what about have it. you read I have read about the different approaches taken to make it da'if to say what's the chain of narration, how do you analyze okay. the chain of narration? Okay, tell me what is the definition of Sahih Hadith? Well, Hassan Hadith. What is the, the, the definition of Sahih? Hassan is another thing. Tell me what the easiest question to a basic student of science of Hadith is what is the definition of Sahih Hadith? So the Sahih Hadith and I'm not going to say I have the definition because I don't care about the definition. So, I'm so no, no, the methodology. No, 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 no. You are challenging a science. Yes. And criticizing it without yes. having known it. You don't know it. I'm familiar with the methodology <laughs> taken of how they supposedly judge the Rijal. I'm familiar with how they consider whether it's Muatir, Mutawatir, whether it's Sahih, whether it's... Uh, okay, what books of Rijal did you study? One, name one. You just mentioned the word Rijal. And the science that deals with the question of Rijal is called Ilmur Rijal. What book have you studied on Ilmur Rijal? One, one book, justify name one. Me, justify for me the logic of the Ilmur Rijal and how it's possible to have actually done so it. So you haven't studied it. I'm, I'm, I'm going very systematically. I'm focused on the discussion. And I will, I will, I will request that you remain focused also, right? No, no you're not okay. being focused. We're talking about no, I, is the you, Quran enough you are the one to talk about hadith. You're going to other areas which are not no, relevant no, to that no, topic. You, you have made two claims. That the Quran doesn't talk about hadith. Yes, it does. Give it me does. evidence. It does. It does. Shut, give the me evidence. evidence I am giving you, you're putting your own spin on it. You're, no, you're, you're, you're using your logic yourself. to spin it. You're not using any logic. Well, you're, uh, I am. I am. For example. Ma how is that? Okay. Min okay. Quran, how okay. is that hadith? Okay. When the Quran says, when the Quran says, uh, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, no. Atiyu Allah wa atiyu Rasul wa ulil amri minkum. Yep. When the Quran says, you've just wait, wait, you've answered yourself. Wait. Now. When the Quran says, when the Quran says, fas alu ahl al dikr in kuntum la taalamun. When the Quran says, for example, inna nahnu nazzal al dikra wa inna lahu la hafidun. What is the what is the term dikr here? What does it mean in this? You've taken all the or when out the of Quran, context. Or when the Quran says, when the Quran says, uh, for example, uh, in Surah Al-Najm, وَمَا يَنْتِكُ عَنِ الْحَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ What does that mean when, the, when Muhammad yep, speaks? Let's, let's focus on that one. 
let's focus on all of them in context you said the quran determines the context of yes versus and i, I agree with you you take it out of context that's the problem okay your context context you, my, no no but you have to understand something you're using your logic and you're, you're saying, saying I'm and he's, using, he's yeah. using tradition that he has actually got backup for. What's Ilmul, the backup? Exactly. Ilmul Rijal. There's no backup. It's not. No backup it's not. One second. It's not. Matan. Also, your argument will eventually go against yourself because Ahadith, Bukhari, etc., were preserved in a very, very similar way to the way the Quran is preserved. No, they were not. And it comes down to us. No, yes, they were not. Are. How did the yes, Quran? How, how did, did it come read, down? Read Surah Al-Fatiha. Read it. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين الزنا الصور. Great. Which kira is this? What kira is this? This is a key important topic actually. The Hadith literature is the biggest enemy against the authenticity of the Quran. No, it's not. Oh yes, it's it not. Is. It's, it's, it's not. You have made it like that. It yeah. talks about ahruf. It says that there are these variant readings. Listen, if which, you, the, which if, people if, like Arthur Jeffrey when, and others when, have when used you don't as a weapon study, against it. When, uh, because people are erroneously attacking the Quran, using based upon the hadith. using material hadith, inauthentic hadith material to attack the Quran, you you throw away the baby with the bathwater, right? So you, you say, okay, throw the baby away and throw the bathwater so away. You don't believe it. in different readings, right? You I do. You do. I do. That's and in the hadith, right? Listen, listen. Have you studied the Quran? You are a Quranist, right? I, I assume you're a Quranist. I don't use that term. <coughs> I use that term because you That's are. Your choice. You are that. Maybe you're you're a Hadithist. How do you like no. that? I'm a no, Muslim. Believes in Quran I'm a traditionist. Quran. Hadithist. I'm a traditionist. Hadithist. You saying I'm a Quranist? You're Hadithist. No, I'm a traditionist. Yeah, Hadithist. Call me a Hadith. Ahlul Hadith. Ahlul Hadith. 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 No, thank you. Thank you. I'm happy with that. I'm Ahlul I'm, Quran. Okay. No. Which is you, superior? You. No. You. You are against the Quran if you are calling yourself. The Quran only was the Quran it by worshiping why by following guidance outside. Let me come of back to like the question Quran. of Quran. How was the Quran preserved? <coughs> well, <coughs> if you follow the hadith in several no, different no, ways. No, no, hadith. How was the Quran preserved? Without hadith. Put hadith aside. Because Put if you use the hadith, the Quran was not preserved. I am saying hadith gone. Out of the question now. You do not have hadith. Put it aside. Throw it in the sea. Now, now, no, 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 Alhamdulillah. Now we'll see. Now we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. How do we get to the Quran? I, as a skeptical individual in the 21st century, don't care about hadith. I want to get to the most ancient copies or the most ancient uh, text of the Quran. How do I get to it? <coughs> so, before I go there, where do you find it in the hadith? I said throw the hadith in the sea. I've already done that. Because you're why do you need, you're why do you need hadith to defend you can't answer yourself. something you disbelieve in? You don't believe in hadith. True. You're trying to use it to, to defend your argument. I'm asking you, how do I get to the Quran? The Quran, Quran of the Quran Prophet, preserved. how do I get to it? So the position As I a skeptical Muslim in 21st century, I want to get to the original text, the original words the Prophet uttered. You how do get, I get to you it? You will not get that in the hadith. The hadith in fact says it. Hello, hello, hello. What's your name? 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 My name is Adnan. What's your name? Marwan. 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 Hadith is gone. We're not discussing Hadith anymore. I'm asking you a very simple question. How do I get to the Quran of, of Muhammad? It's not the Quran of Muhammad. What he taught as the Quran. How do I get to it? Well, that is a difficult thing of historical analysis. So why do you believe in it? I believe in it through my own study of it in terms of its cohesion. So you've studied it. Can you explain to me what you have studied? How do I get to it? How was the Quran preserved? Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get, we'll okay. get. How do I get to it? Be specific in your question. How do I get to Surah Al-Fatiha? I, I need evidence that Muhammad وسلم, actually taught it. I, who, who knows? Abu Hanifa might have made it, made it up. Malik might have made it up. It wasn't made or, up or, even <coughs> <coughs> or maybe the Sahaba. You, you, or maybe, or maybe. you think Hadith literature? By, by the same way <coughs> that somebody at that time would have accepted the text. It's who? By, who accepted it? The people in his time. How do you so, know? So it came through the people. Wait, wait, man! You're jumping the gun. Listen, I'm, listen. I'm, 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 okay. I'm trying to take it step. You're by asking step. a question. Yeah. Let me answer. Yeah. By the same approach that he. Which approach? Which approach? Don't Which? interrupt, man. Have yeah. some etiquette, please. Yes, yes, please go ahead. Okay. By the same approach that logically a person of that time may have assessed it. In their time, they may have assessed it based upon the language, based upon the content, or what have you. Let me finish. In my time. How do I know they're telling me the truth? How do I know they're telling me the truth? Why should I accept? Someone attributed a statement to Muhammad and I have to accept it. Why? Tell, give me the reasons why. Why? 
I analyze it based upon its own testimony, its own content. So you don't do that with hadith? You the don't hadith. do that with... You yeah, see, the, you hadith, see, the hadith are inconsistent, no. irrational. To you, are not. to you, you you have put two things in front of you. They are exactly the same in the process of preservation. No, you choose, not. Not you choose to believe one and you reject the other because it they're has not, not certain the problems. Same. They're not okay. at all the same. Okay, now tell me then, how do I conclusively or oh, with certainty, with absolute level of certainty, reach the Quran of Muhammad I want to know. You have to do various things, historical analysis. Historical Give me study. one. Hello, why are you? Listen, You're we've already spent five minutes vaguely. on this question. You're not giving me answers. Okay, I challenge you to even answer that slightly. What? Slightly what? Yeah, <laughs> because if you if you say you say throw the hadith in the in the sea, even with the hadith, I, I, I challenge you to give me you, single look, evidence. Look, hadith to you is as good as Harry Potter. We've removed it. It's worse than oh, Harry okay, Potter. Okay, no problem. Gone. You happy? Happy? Now can you show me the Quran coming to us? Uh, I need to know with certainty that what you read as Quran today was actually said by Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I need the proper process. I need to. I should be able to believe it. Well, you have nothing. That, you have, have nothing either by that. No, regard. no, no. no, no. I, I'm asking. You're the you're the Quranist. I'm the Hadithist. You're the Quranist. But you're no. asking a question you cannot answer. I, I have look. Wait, wait. You're I not, challenge you to you're answer that question. I'm the Hadithist. I'm already defeated. I'm gone. I'm in the sea. I'm destroyed. Okay, already. You're the Quranist, the superior one. Yes. Can you now, with your superior knowledge of the Quran and its preservation? Tell me how the Quran came to you. How do you know that what you just read there from Surah Al-Fatiha was actually said by Muhammad for 14 centuries ago? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Tell me. A part of that is, as I said, my reading and analysis of the Quran. Which is I, what? Mister, let me finish the question. Yes, I'm please. Yes. <coughs> is the analysis of it and my own assessment of it as being the word of God and Explain. also... Explain. Can you... And also, listen, listen. <coughs> And also having a text which is consistent, as far as I'm aware, in terms of its historical trajectory. Okay. Now, can you're you ask, explain you're, that to me? You're asking a question that is impossible to answer, even for you. Marwan is telling me in the year 2017, yes. 16th of April, yes. that I have studied it, and I believe, I believe, I believe. Marwan is completely irrelevant to me. I don't care what Marwan has to say. I want a proper historical process which Marwan uses to reject other sources and applies to the Quran but 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 is not consistent in his application wait we can do so, textual analysis okay which will analyze the hadith how? easily okay okay forget I'm saying I've already accepted defeat you're saying, I'm a hadithist. You're saying, how do I judge I'm a hadith from Ahl al hadith I'm already defeated I'm gone yes I'm finished Good. you're the Quranist I'm asking you tell me how the Quran came to you can you explain the process in about two minutes to me uh, cut it short do, give me a summary that define, define, define what you mean by the process exactly. How, why, how do you know Surah Al-Fatiha yes. was actually read by Muhammad 14 centuries ago? Where do you get it from? How has it come down to you? No, how do you know? How do you know? Explain. My knowledge is based upon faith and analysis. And what is that analysis? Analysis of what? Of the Quran as a co coherent text, as a logically consistent text. What is the Quran? It what is the, it is, what the, is the definition? Oh, 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 good question. What is the definition of the Quran? <coughs> You're asking a question. You need to define it. You define are a Quranist. Question. Define I'm, the question, Mister. I'm Look, asking you. Define I'm already defeated. Define the question. I am not. Define the question. You're asking what <laughs> is the Quran? What do you mean Sorry. by that? You're the teacher. I'm the student. You're superior. I'm inferior. I'm defeated. I'm gone. How I'm trying to learn <coughs> as a skeptical student, at, as a troublemaker who gives trouble to the teachers. Can you please tell me what the Quran is? Can you explain what the what what is, it, what is, is the Quran? Of? What is it consist of? What is it? No, no, no. The Quran. No, 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 no. no. That's a different story. The accepted what Quran. is Quran? What what is Quran? Simple. It is the guidance from Allah, the recital. It is the reminder. It is the criterion, and many of the other criteria of it. It is the book that I accept in 114 surahs that I believe to be a consistent text which I've analyzed, analyzed to the best of my ability. It is a text which is the common text among the majority of the Muslim Ummah. It is when I have been looking at people's analysis of the history and transmission of the Quran, it to me makes sense as a realistically preserved right. book. According to that definition, anyone can write a book of 114 chapters yep. and ha has cl claimed guidance in it. Yep. So you, you are referring to a specific text Correct. called the Quran, yes. right, with specific content. Yes. Now, you're claiming that specific content 
is what Muhammad taught. To the best of my knowledge, yes. To the best of your knowledge. Can you can you now explain why, to the best of your knowledge, that is what Muhammad taught? So, so first thing is, <coughs> that is actually a huge topic and it's also off the side from where we're talking about. No, Give me any no, evidence from the Quran no, that the hadith is, is required. This is directly no, 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 it's not. It's not. Marwan. We're talking about, give me the evidence from the Quran that the hadith is required. Marwan. Give me one and I will accept it. Marwan. One. Marwan. No, no, you're, Marwan. You're different I have already, no, no, I have already conceded defeat. I am defeated. Well, I'm saying we have nothing to I'm, talk I about. surrender. I've, I've put down no, my no, weapons. No, no, no. We have nothing to He's talk. defeated. He's okay. asking you to I'm prove. asking. No, you're the Quranist. No, no, no. I'm the Hadithist. I'm gone. I'm in the sea. I've been thrown into the sea. I'm asking. You're the Quranist. You believe in the Quran. Now, it's been now nearly 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Because I'm you posed my same question. This is not a discussion. This is a discussion. discussion. It's not. It's not. You're diverted. I have already conceded defeat. You. Well, then what's the purpose of the discussion? This discussion. Asking because you I'm asking you and I'm going to show you by your own reasoning, by your own reasoning that you are inconsistent. I'm not You're inconsistent. You're completely inconsistent. You're inconsistent. Give me, give me every evidence. There is a the reason why you cannot explain to me the, how the Quran came. You to can't you. do it either. The Hadith and Tafsir. I can, I can, but I'm not claiming it. I can. You I can. know exactly what I'm talking. You know, you know what I'm doing here. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Man, I've watched I you know. before. I know okay, what you're wait, doing. Okay, I, okay, good. So you know what I'm doing, right? Let's see so, you try. So, it. so I'm. I'm <laughs> For the past 15 minutes, that's what I'm, do. Be, I'm, I think those who, have, those who have a little bit of sense, little brain, brain cells can see that you are not able to answer a simple question. The How question do you know? is not simple and you cannot answer it. He's also why you believe He's what you believe. I have already it. conceded defeat. I am defeated. That's not the way you I'm discussed. gone. I'm you're saying I'm not I'm your position. You're a Quranist. The question I asked you. Wait, you're a Quranist. I am now asking you to explain to me why are you a Quranist? Why? What conviction do you have in the text of the Quran? And how do you know Muhammad said what you claim he said 14 centuries ago? Let's say Alhamdulillah. Okay, let, let, why am I a Quranist? Because I've done a few things. Sorry. Number one, <clears throat> I have read the Quran. I have much to learn. But how do you know from Muhammad? Let me, let me finish. <laughs> But you read the Quran, how do you know it's from Muhammad? That's the, that's the, that's the fundamental question. Muhammad, how do you know it's from Muhammad? Muhammad? Muhammad, for me, is an irrelevant in the chain. It oh is my God. Allah. If, if, if he's Allah. irrelevant, then what's the okay, point of... Second. What's what's the what's the point? How do you know? He is, if it's from Allah. How? That is okay, the question. Okay. Muhammad that, is a part okay. of that process, how did, but how, he's not the source okay. of it. How, how do you know it's from Allah? Okay, Let, okay. now remove Muhammad out of the picture as well. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hadith is gone. Muhammad is gone. How do you know it's from Allah? That is a completely huge other discussion. No, it's, it's nothing related to the hadith, my friend. Okay. I am saying hadith, hadith is hadith. gone. But I'm not interested. I have I'm, in, I'm interested in the discussion of do we need the hadith for the We're not discussing the hadith anymore. I've considered defeat. I am I'm saying I'm, I'm finished. I am discussing it. You no, cannot just you change the topic. Your Quran well, is superior why are you, dis why are you, why are you killing a dead? Why are you killing a dead? Why are you killing? So, so your view why are you killing your a dead is, animal? Your view is it's already, hadith your view is already is, dead. Your view is according reject the to hadith, you. The Quran, according to you, hadith is dead, and I accept that. Okay, you don't accept hadith. No problem with that. Let's throw hadith in the sea. We have done that, and we've done the janazah. Okay, now give me one example from the Quran. That the hadith is required. That I, is the argument. I don't even accept. You know, as as a skeptical, as a, um, if you're not going to be part in that discussion, wait. which is the discussion Marwan. I came to you with, Marwan. there's no point to talk. Marwan. So you don't want to talk about what he's asking you. Marwan. No, because that is beside the point Marwan. right now. He's asking what you believe, what you believe. What you believe, what you believe, what you believe. Let's say I'm a, I'm a skeptical. That is irrelevant. I don't have to justify that. Marwan. What you have to answer is what I asked you, and that is justify the hadith Marwan. from the Quran. You claim. If you cannot do that, then admit defeat, and the discussion is over. I have already admitted Advanced. defeat. Well, the discussion is okay. over. Okay. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. He's, uh, we're going through a very so, good... Okay, so if you're not so going now, to answer the so question, now it is I don't want to go around in a circle. Marwan, answer is, the question. It is now clear to all of us. It's not clear at to anyone. At least to me. You are diverting. That you are you not are able... Diverting. Wait. You are not able to tell us how the Quran <coughs> came from Muhammad. To you. You have failed, utterly failed, to demonstrate that. Now, do you want me to demonstrate how Hadith came to us and the Quran? Do you want me to demonstrate? You are you going to be silent? You try and I'll answer. Okay. I'll be as silent okay. as you are. You're okay. interrupting me all the okay. time. Okay, now, 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 now. You're interrupting Very all the time. I will explain Justify, to you. justify from okay. the Quran the okay. need for Hadith. I will now. I will justify from the Quran. I don't care about the Hadith justifying itself. The Quran is the Muhammad. If you cannot justify from there, what you have nothing. What is the Quran? How do you know it came justify from Muhammad? Justify the need for the Quran. Okay, but I don't let's say, let's say, as, as, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, I'm not a Muslim, 
I'm a non-Muslim asking questions about the Quran. I don't believe in the Quran. Let's assume, okay, for argument's sake. I am asking you a very simple question. You are a Quranist. I'm asking you, can you please prove to me yep. with absolute certainty that what you claim to be the Quran is exactly what Muhammad taught 14 centuries ago? How can is that related to our discussion that I started with? I, I already explained that I am not. I'm not a Muslim. Let's say I'm. No, no, no. Let's say, you, let's cannot, say, you cannot do that. Let's you cannot assume. do that. Why not? You have to take part in the discussion. <laughs> you are a Muslim. You're gonna force you me. You're gonna force me to become something I'm not. You, you, no, you accept the Quran and sandwich. you accept the Hadith. I am asking you. Shall I get someone else to ask you the same question? No, no, maybe because, because, because you're diverting because you are not able no, he's not to the, argue no, the no, question you, that you're you asking. You're not diverting. understanding, Marwan. Marwan. I, you see, you know, no, wait, let me explain now. Let me simplify things. The reason, the reason why he's wait, stubborn. I, we started you're with you're avoiding. One second. One second. He, he's avoiding. For everyone watching, for everyone who's watching this, you're avoiding answering the question because you got because, brain. Because no, no, you're you, going, no, no, you're going around. There's a reason. You're going around. There's a reason. You're not answering no, no, the question. There's a reason. Because, because you know, when you start to explain how the Quran came to you, when you start to explain, when you start to explain how the Quran came to you, game over. Yes, there's so many flaws. Game over. You will. With that talk, when you start to explain, you that's will actually start to substantiate yeah. the signs of hadith. That's why you and don't want to answer. That's, that's why you don't want to answer. The signs of hadith and the Quran are completely that's different. Why you don't no, they're answer. not. Yes, no, that's why you don't know. No, how? Not. That's why you don't know. We don't know how? Anything how? 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 One second. Let me ask you. Guys, guys, I know what I'm doing. This is why I'm asking him. Explain to me how the Quran came to you. He is not doing it for the past 15 minutes. Now it's 20 minutes. Now it's 20 minutes. For the past 20 minutes, half he has failed to do it. He refuses half to do it. Half an hour. Half an hour? Mm -hmm. okay. Because you are not taking part in the original discussion. No, this you is are the going around. This is the discussion. It's not the discussion. Okay. You don't define it. Okay. Have you, have you we started about <laughs> who, <laughs> have you, where does the hadith <laughs> justification have you seen, come from? Have you and seen, then you go around <laughs> everywhere else. Have you seen the <laughs> That is not a discussion. Marwan. Don't, don't try, don't, don't try bullshit technique with me, okay? Marwan. Marwan, have you seen that cartoon, Kung Fu Panda? Okay. When he lands on this, uh, this uh, what do you call this baddie? What's his name? Uh, you know the the snow leopard. Yeah. He yeah, lands on it. Yeah. He goes, "You're a big, big fat panda." He goes, "No, I'm the big fat, big fat panda." Yeah. So this is the discussion. Okay. No, no, no. Wait. No, no. no you don't define the discussion for me. Okay. No. I came to you to tell you and to ask actually about justify the need for hadith from the Quran. Then you go around all these other ways. Which are not relevant to this specific discussion. Okay, wait, wait. You're asking me no, to justify no. the, the child yes. without the mother. I'm asking yes, you. Yes. I'm asking you where the mother come. Where did the mother come from? Once you start to explain, wait. Yes, like, Marwan, Marwan, Marwan. Let me you interrupt me all Once the time. Once you start to explain where the mother came from, what she did, how she lived, what she, how she nurtured the child, then you will, by extension, start to understand and where the child came no, from. Also, no, okay. Also, but you want me to? You want me to the ignore the mother? No, 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 no. Don't talk about the mother. Explain where the child came. I'm trying to take you to the mother. I'm telling you, the child came from the mother. You're saying, no, I don't want to know the mother. I want to know the child. No, no. So I'm saying, what? posit, we both, at least one thing we both agree on, for the sake of this argument, yeah. is we both agree there is the Quran which we believe in. Okay? Let's take that as the first point and say, no, okay, we, we know agree. why we believe in it. No. Why do you? Yes. That's why do you? In theory, that is why completely irrelevant. No, no, no. It is relevant. It's, it's not, very relevant. It's not relevant. You have to at understand. All. And also, one second, one second. You know your initial question? You know your initial question you asked that you keep saying let's go back to he answered it he did not he no he answered it you know what, what you said he say? what did you say what did he you say? say no according to my logic that does not make sense how do you know he said i know because of a hadith i know because of the commentary of the quran you said no i'm using my logic so now he's proving to you how his logic of using the ahadith and the tradition is actually valid you don't want to go down that route because you know he'll prove it no because that's, why, that's what's you, going on i'm asking you for specific details not a general all-encompassing 20-hour discussion i've been i've been dealing with these topics for the last at least last 10 years 15 I've been, years okay, okay good you're no more than me then why can't you why you're my you teacher not explain it? because you're you my are teacher. going the wrong way about okay. it okay i'm saying take you have for been studying it 15 us. years let's take okay. for granted both of us okay. the quran okay wait now that we both now that we both agree that there is a quran have you studied the quran for 15 years you have bits and pieces over time okay okay, okay but okay i don't, wait, I don't think what, to be where the are manuscript? the earliest manuscripts of the quran start start naming them number one start naming them i don't have it in my memory i read many 15 years you said you studied. I am, and I only I'm studied not, for ten years. Not, not less than you, but I know where they are. Because I'm not taking okay. part in these debates all the time, so okay. I don't have it in my memory okay. all the time. So, so, so this shows that I am more of a Quranist than you are. Uh, okay. No, no. Why? Because <laughs> I have. I know exactly where the manuscripts are. 
I know what the chains can are. Can you name them? Please? I know what the chains are. Who transmitted the Quran? Where's the Quranic readings? Uh, where, where, where the differences are? You know, in the reading. Okay. Why there are differences? I have studied all that process. You don't want to discuss it for a reason. I've actually read about all of that myself. That's okay, the Quran. You have, so why are you not? Why are you not explaining that to me? Because it's something that I read and I don't record in my mind because okay. I don't have to take part in the let, debate. Let me ask you why a Quran is then? If you're not convinced, have, if you're not the convinced. Hadith is illogical and has no basis in the Quran. Okay. That is why. It seems like you have a personal right. thing against the Hadith. We're not talking about the Hadith anymore. A logical anymore. thing against We're not, we're not. Okay. Illogical. Okay. I'm saying, How do you know your logic is correct? How do you know logic is correct? Prove your logic wrong. can be wrong. Prove me wrong. No, okay. I've already shown one it. Second. You, you have not. You've taken around one completely one different one topics. Let me say one thing. I'm asking you just the facts from the Quran. Let me say one thing. That the Hadith is wrong. Let me say one thing. I will do it. Let Wait, me say one, one final point, please, please do. and I'm done with this discussion. No, after no, that. let me say one thing before okay, you, you say can, that. Okay. Let me say one thing before you say that. You're justifying your understanding of the Quran through your logic. Yeah, that's fine, best, yes. As best yeah, I can. As best as you can. Uh, yeah, yeah, you were born and raised somewhere, right? Yeah, in a society, makes sense, yeah. you were born and raised, etc. You went to school, etc. And you were conditioned in that society. You assume. You don't know that. Okay, that's fine, no problem. Your logic will not be consistent with every single person's logic. Who did the Quran logic come from? by definition Who did the Quran come is from? always consistent. No, it's not always consistent. Then it's not logic. It, no, it depends on who, who's speaking. No, no, no. It's subjective. We're not talking it's a subjective. relativistic view of things it's here. Logic varies it's from subjective. time to time, from place to place. It's subjective. That Something that's logical to you is not logical to yes. Mr. X. I'm talking about y. logic okay. Logic in a let, careful let, manner. Let me come back to the question now. Do you know we have manuscripts from the time of the Prophet of the Quran? Do you know? Yes, I'm familiar. Once okay. that has been dated to between before he started and after. Do, do, I'm you, do you accept them? Birmingham manuscript. Okay. Do you accept them? Allahu Alam. I, I haven't seen it. I haven't assessed it. I can't say it for sure. Okay. Do you accept them as belonging to the companions of the Prophet or not? Simple one. Uh, yes or no? If they come from the same time when the companions are alive, there's only one logic that follows. And here your logic, I don't know, for some reason fails. Okay. Because I'm but, careful, unlike you. Okay, so who wrote those? Who, who wrote those manuscripts? It most, has to be companions. Most likely, it is. Yes. No, okay. Why most likely? What? What? The the, the, the Chinese are okay. writing them? Because I am not Allah, and I do not know for certain okay. history. No, okay. no, no. Why is your logic wait, consistent? Wait. Now, have you read those manuscripts carefully? No, I have not read that manuscript. Okay. Do you know about the inferior text? Yes, that can be behind it, and you can get that okay. to all the Have you read it? Okay. Now, this is this is the this is the this is the this is the main point the hadith literature tells us that there were certain variations in the quranic text in the early quranic text certain companions of the prophet were reading the quran in different ways that's why we have the hadith of hisham and umar bin khattab reading surah al furqan okay they were both reading it differently and they went to the prophet he doesn't accept it because he's a Quran. Correct, correct. Okay. Now the Quranic manuscripts amazingly confirm what the Hadith is telling you. When you read the when you read the inferior text in the manuscripts that date from the Prophet's time, those differences that have been documented in the Hadith literature are exactly there. From a material parchment that was recorded, dated, written, penned, scribed in the time of the Prophet or very close to his time by the companions. Now, what do you have to say on that? Well, has he understood that? Yes, actually I have an answer. Very very answer. So, answer. yes, tell us why. So, why, why are there so, those differences so, so, there? So, until there's some time that I can analyze that, I'm not going to speak like I'm an authority. But right. I can, leave me pause it. Okay, leave me pause it. Okay. Now you say, and I'm just going to accept what you say because I have... I can pull it out right now and show you, uh, show you, the, show you the images right now. Palimpsest, you want to see them? The Quranic palimpsest, here, right here. Okay. The text. Now again, you're wait, not, wait, let me, you're let not, me, you're let not me finish the question. This, no, no, this, from the Quran. I have done this. I already have not. But you, you he have done not. it. He has done it. You don't accept ma, it. Ma afa Allah he has done it. He has done it. When Quran. Allah that's subhanahu wa ta'ala. When, when Allah. Are you serious? One second. When Allah, wait, wait. When Allah speaks about it. his dhikr in the Quran. Have you analyzed that? Have you analyzed it? No, no, no. Have you analyzed it? Yes, actually. Based on what? What is Based on your logic. I'm sorry. Do you accept his logic? I don't accept Yeah. Do you accept his logic? No, we don't accept the logic. Because you're preconditioned, my friend. This, you pre oh my god, okay, that's fine. <laughs> These parchments are dated to mid 7th century when the companions of the Prophet yeah. were alive. Majority of them were alive, okay? Because the last companion of the Prophet to have died, died 
in the year 110 Hijri. It was Amir Abu Tufail, okay? A companion called Amir Abu Dosi. Naam, okay? He no, no, no. That's uh, uh, Tufail Dosi is someone else. This is Amir Abu Tufail is, is a different person. Oh, Tufail Abu Amir, sorry. Tufail Abu Amir is the last companion of the Prophet to have died. Anas died in 94, okay? This parchment is before Anas died, long time before Anas died. It has an inferior text, which has been dated to have come from Uthman's time. Okay, it's Uthmanic Codex. The companions of the Prophet had written this. Those variations which we find documented in the Hadith literature, in terms of Ahruf, are there. Okay, so that confirms at least those reports on Ahruf are absolutely correct. In the light of material evidence, we find from the time of the companions. You have no legs to stand on as a Quranist. Well, let me okay. answer you both. Yeah. Two things. Scribal errors can happen in every time. And no, these are no scribal errors. Listen, listen. These are no scribal errors. Listen, listen. You know what scribal error is? Leave in, wait a minute. Let me finish my point, then you say something. That's how you take a part in the discussion. Number one, it is possible to have scribal errors at any point, and to correct them makes perfect sense. Number two, the concept of Ahruf in itself, wait. nobody actually understands okay. it. Wait. As Suyuti and others okay. have said, wait, wait. they do not understand these hadith. Yes, he's right, he's right, he's right. On Ahruf, we have 30 opinions, nearly 30 opinions. The scholars of Islam did not have the evidence we have today. Suyuti didn't have it, Ibn Hajar didn't have it, other authorities... Most of the evidence you have now comes I'm, 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 I'm confirming what you're saying, okay? So let me finish, okay? Most of these classical scholars didn't have the evidence we have today. Okay, now what we have today actually 100% confirms one opinion in particular, one opinion, and that opinion is what? There were there were seven types of variations in the Quran pre in the pre Uthmanic text. What did Uthman do when he standardized the text? Okay, when he put the Quran in one reading, for example, what did he do? What did he get rid of? This is a very interesting question. What did he actually remove? Okay, from the text. There were seven types of different variations. Okay, what are they? Taqdeem and Taqdeer, as we are told in the in the Hadith literature. They were uh, Ta'nis and Tathkir. You know what these things are? You know what these things are? Yeah. Real? You know. So, how can I, you know? Okay, because, okay, okay. where did okay. what, what, okay. what, what, what he use? Jama and Mufrat. Jama and Mufrat. He used a, one of the, he used a Mus'haf that was with a wife of the Prophet. Correct or incorrect? Yes or no? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? I'm saying this is your position. No, 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 no. Do you believe that? Do you? I'm asking you, do you believe that? <coughs> I'm saying that's a valid historical position as far as I'm concerned. Where does that come from? Where does that come from? Where did it come from? Because for me, is it in the Quran? Is it in the Quran or in the Hadith? That position you just. You just show yourself, brother. You just show I've, yourself. I've been, I've been speaking. You just took yeah, exactly. The hadith gives you contradictory no, every views. Every single thing, every single thing you will claim about the Quran is going. You is, believe in hadith? You just proved it. You just proved it. You just proved it. You just used it as. You just proved it. You just used it as. So you, 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 you hadith, hadith, hadith as a religious source. It has been recorded. No basis. It has been recorded. You said that's a valid historical position. I'm asking where you, does it come from? where does that position come from? That's valid. It is, it is in the Hadith literature. I so you choose to believe in some yes. and reject others. So when a report goes in your favor, that you like favor. it, you no, like no. the content. There's two things. Okay, number one, Hadith as a religious source is one topic. Number two, if it, if it may have some sort of historical source, that's a different thing. When I say it's a valid or it's a logical position historically, as in I see there's no reason okay. why it could be wrong. Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to ask you a question. Answer my I question think, first. So I, do I, you I accept mean, that hadith are logical? I don't. I'm going to ask you. Okay, so, so okay. why are you accepting I'm going to ask you a question. Prove to me I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Prove to me the hadith is required from the Quran. Okay. That is wait. the question. Wait, I don't wait, have wait, any wait. other answer. Okay, I okay, okay, wait. wait, I've already proved that. You have not. Though, with those, this, 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 this has been recorded. Yeah, it Okay, wait. What is that? Okay, wait. Is it hadith? Wait, my brother. This is going to go online. This is going to go online. Let people decide. If people think I'm a stupid, I'm a stupid. You know, whatever. We're not taking yeah. part in a logical okay. discussion. I'm okay. asking you a question. Answer that question. I'm going to ask you a question now. No, no. Answer I'm my question ask first. Question. I'm going to ask you a question. Answer my question first. I will. I will. I will. No, no, answer it first. That what, was the start of what, the discussion. What is the What is the question? Give me evidence from the Quran that you need the hadith. First, you give me evidence, me evidence, and my I'm answering your question by posing a bigger question. Give me evidence that the Quran is what Muhammad taught. Irrelevant. Let's pause Why is that irrelevant? I don't because accept. That's not the discussion. Let's say, that's let's not say discussion. I don't accept your view of the Quran. I don't, I don't accept, accept your view it. of anything. If that's the case. No problem with that. So that's what we're talking. So I'm asking you to now give me a standard you use to judge the Quran. 
How do you know it's the Quran Muhammad taught? You don't. You don't have an answer for me. For the my, last 45 minutes, you don't have an answer for me. My question. My my question is. Give me evidence. And now I'm going to tell you. Now I'm going to tell you why hadith is authentic. We have in Bukhari certain reports from the Prophet that have three individuals between Bukhari and Prophet Muhammad, and we have these reports are 22 in number. 22 reports in Sahih al-Bukhari, Bukhari's collection, and there are others with four individuals between Bukhari and Muhammad. So Bukhari states, Haddathana or Haddathani Makki ibn Ibrahim. Makki ibn Ibrahim was a teacher of Imam Bukhari. He had a teacher called Abu Abayd. You're not answering my well, question. Ahmad, You're finish. not answering my Be question. Be patient, patient, patient. He had a teacher called Abu Abayd. Abu Abayd's teacher was Salma Tabl al Aqwa, a companion of the Prophet. And he narrated from the Prophet. So between Bukhari and the Prophet, there are three individuals. And there is no broken link. They are all connected to each other. They all learn from each other. And the chain is uninterrupted. Now tell me, when Bukhari narrates from this chain, why is it a lie? Why is it not trustworthy? Tell me why. Because the very nature of oral transmission is, <laughs> is difficult to ever say that it's preserved. Let me give you one example. What about so the no, Quran is by that no, standard? No. By that standard, example. the Quran is redundant. By yes. that standard, the Quran is redundant. Oral no, it's not. Quran is oral transmission. Yes. Because it was Quran. recorded in his life. Okay, it's oral. Still oral. Quran it's still taught as well. Yes. It's, it's Quran. It is read. It is Quran. It goes against okay. your point. It's not. Okay. Listen, okay. listen, listen. So, so wait, wait, every stop. argument you're going to throw against me you're not is going to fire back at you. The original argument you're not giving an answer for. And also, let me give you one example. Okay, now you. No, no, stop. Let me give you one example. Yeah. The supposed hadith about the Prophet's final sermon. Yes. You're familiar with that? Yes. There are at least three different versions of it where he says, I leave you the book of Allah, or I leave you the book of Allah and my example, and I leave you the book of Allah and my family. That is supposedly a very widely observed narration and yet in the key wait, wait. area it has three major differences. Why don't you answer that? Three what? Sorry? Three major variations of a supposedly okay. widely... I, I, I understand your question. Now yes, thank from you. that question you conclude that the, the incident is untrustworthy? No, no, I'm giving you an example how your supposed I'm to oral ask, transmission I'm, I'm of hadith to get to the bottom is, of it. Is, is reliable. I'm okay. giving you an example okay. how okay. a okay. key point okay. is changed in okay. a short period of time. I'm going to ask you a question now. Uh, uh, to answer your question, I'm trying to make a point. Okay, this is what we call a logical discussion. So yeah. answer, yeah. where in the Quran I'm, does it justify I'm, the hadith? Hello, hello, hello. hello. No, 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 these are all extra topics. I want no, one No, 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 I'm answering topic. a question. In, this, in these four variations, are there commonalities? Similarities? Yes. Right? So what do we get? That the similarities are definitely what the Prophet had said, right? Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, maybe. I'll give you an example. Abraham Lincoln <coughs> delivered a speech, his presidential speech, for example. There are four versions of it. Four versions. All versions vary from one another. Okay? What we do know that Abraham Lincoln definitely <coughs> spoke, definitely delivered a speech. And the content of that speech are pretty much determined by looking at the four versions, by looking at similarities. Likewise, so you're these three, your faith. likewise, these three versions of the speech of the Prophet, a fact is established that he definitely delivered a speech, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the content of his speech are pretty much determined by looking at the similarities of the three speech. Okay. To, and we have and, a key difference. And when you a try, wait, wait, wait. What? A you, key difference. Ha, have you studied history? Ever? I'm, I'm, a histo I'm, I'm a student of history, by the way. Abdullah. Okay. Do you know what historiography is? I'm familiar with some okay. historical I, techniques. There are two options in front of you. You either go by conventional rules of historiography, how historians use historical events, and how they determine what is true and what may not be true, or you come up with your own logics, like you are today. You know, like you, you be, are. You know. <laughs> Of okay, I, I'm giving you. Ask me where, 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 where I got the standard from. I'll give you the standard, right? The standard okay. defined by who? Okay, by historians, by traditionists, people who have been studying. The same historians who would maybe reject that the the Quran or who would reject the Hadith, like many do. Do you accept their standards as well, or just the standards that suit you? Which historian rejects the Quran? You just made a claim. What historian rejects the Quran? 
what his that it exists is a different story. But I'm saying about it being for preserved, for example, or that Muhammad. What historian, for example, says that it doesn't come from Muhammad? Name one. Muslim or non-Muslim, name one who says it doesn't come from Muhammad. You're making empty claims, man. No, no. For example, I'm nice for, talking Patricia to you. Krohn, I've got a headache now. You're making empty claims. Nice talking to you. You're making Someday, empty inshallah, when you answered that the Quran proves hadith, we'll have a discussion. After this discussion, after discussion, after this discussion, so after this discussion no, today, I'm more of a hadithist now. Okay, I have May not, Allah forgive I've, you. I, I will take out the hadith from the sea now and adopt it even more now. You have not defended okay. it even one bit. May Allah guide you. The question is not related to the topic. May Allah guide you. Likewise for you, inshallah. You didn't listen to anything he said. He didn't listen to anything I said. You made up your mind. You didn't answer my question even once. You have already made up your mind, brother. You have already made up your mind. It's very clear. Because you didn't listen to anything he said. Did you answer, answer my question once? Answer his no, question. you did not. You, you have Quran. already made up your we mind. We started with You're the question. You're using the Quran as a premise, right? 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 Oh, well, you know what the heart is called. You're, the heart you see, is this is the problem. Yeah. You're, you're claiming logic, but you don't have logic. I have a lot of logic. Okay. More you're than you, claiming sure. the Quran as your basic premise, right? Right? Not a you're premise. Saying, no, it is your premise. You're saying the Quran is what? You're saying that. Show me in the Quran yes. where it says the hadith is a logical. I'm saying I'm okay. saying this Wait. is a mutually accepted source of evidence. So no, let it's us not. use that. It's not. In your case, it's not. So you okay. don't accept the Quran. No, no, I, I do accept the Quran. No, you don't. I. It's, it is. It is mutually accepted. Okay. Therefore, you I, start from wait, that point. Wait. I accept the Quran because I am very consistent with my standard. Okay, when I accept something, I have a standard to accept it. You do not accept that standard. You have no legs to stand on. You cannot believe the Quran for rejecting the Hadith. If you reject the Hadith, you are by extension rejecting the entirety of the Quran. Do you believe in abrogation? Yes, I do. And where do you base that from? From the Quran. Really? Yes. It's mostly from Hadith actually. If I show you in the Quran, then... I have actually studied that in detail. Go ahead and try. And then you're going to use your logic too. <laughs> have you read a book by Luay Fatuhi, Abrogation in the Quran, Islamic Law? A detailed analysis. No, I haven't read that book. No. I recommend you read it. I have. Uh, okay. It if, analyzes the hadith on the topic. It analyzes the ayahs on the topic in great detail, taking all of the analysis of previous scholars on that topic. Okay. The thing you is, disrespect the Quran by your acceptance of the hadith with now, regards to abrogation, after, with regards to, for example, after after this discussion today. At least in the future, you will think twice before you throw the Quran in the middle of a discussion without being able to substantiate its authenticity. I am asking you by talking with somebody okay, who will not answer a brother, question. Brother, I have I have had long discussions with giant Quranists. I think you're a student. You, I mean, you, I have had discussions with giant Quranists, and I only asked them one question. How did the Quran get to you? And I was not disappointed even today because you couldn't answer the same question. They because cannot not answer the this today. question. That's not they, the topic today. They, they cannot answer this question because they don't want to answer this question. Because they, they don't they want to. The question, because the, the moment they start answering the question, yes. describing the process to me, it will start to become clear that they are inconsistent. They are being hypocritical. So do you accept the hadith because of history or because of the Quran? Both. Both. I challenge you to uh, give me any evidence from the Quran. <laughs> What I challenge you to give me evidence from the Quran. He did. He did not. I challenge you. He did. He told you. First, I look at your logic. Brother, wait. Brother, are you? Marwan, I can see that you are an intelligent person. Maybe. Okay, your brain works. You're talking to me. You're speaking. You you are analyzing questions. You you have cognition. You're giving me intelligent answers. Why are you refusing to accept a simple fact we're trying to clarify to you? That because when it's when, irrelevant. When, no, 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 no. It's, it's not irrelevant. irrelevant. It is. It is a direct. It is a directly related question. It's not. I'm saying. Okay, I'll tell you why it's relevant. Now I'm going to simplify it. I know I'm why you think it's relevant. I know Marwan, why you think. Marwan, can but I finish? This is not the question. Marwan, can I finish? We use the same standard to believe in the authenticity of the Quran. We use to believe in the authenticity of the Hadith. Okay. Now, this is why it's relevant. I am asking you because you throw away Hadith in the sea. You. Yes. We don't. We don't. Okay. The reason why we accept hadith because we accept the Quran by the same standard. What you do is you divorce the standard of the Quran completely from the discussion. You want to stick to the hadith. The reason why we take you to the Quran to show you how inconsistent you are because you cannot possibly in any shape or form explain to me as to how the Quran came to you without using that process. That same process the hadith came to us through. 
Okay. Do you understand the relevance now? Do you? I understand did, what did you're you trying to do, but you're did you understand not doing it. it. Did you understand it? Did everyone understand yeah. the relevance? Yeah. Now everyone agrees there is relevance, except relevance. you. Do you now accept? No, do I do not. <coughs> because because we cannot because we cannot continue because logically speaking even if the hadith is perfectly preserved let's posit that even if it's perfectly preserved if the Quran tells you not to follow it you cannot follow it I am saying correct I am correct saying, or incorrect wait 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 correct or incorrect why are you using the Quran when you can't prove it why are you using the, why is the Quran important that's to you that's not my task I now no, no, the point no. is even if we accept the hadith is perfectly preserved if I can demonstrate to you from the Quran that it should not be followed you still have to accept that, that. will not happen you know why that will not happen you because know you why? won't accept any argument no 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 that, that will not happen it will because happen. the hadith will never contradict the Quran it does no yeah. it does not on the topic of abrogation on the topic of the punishment bring one for the with reference I think I think it's clear now I think it's clear that punishment we, for the adulterer we, where does that come from it's not a okay. contradiction where does come from in the hadith it mentions about oh supposedly there was an ayah for stoning supposedly there was the punishment for stoning but we don't find it in the Quran because of abrogation it has also only the whipping that is in there hadith contradicts the Quran number two I, I number two you, but when you are you married when you finish, are you married listen that's not the topic and when are you, you finish I'm when, you, first, when you finish your fasting, are you married when you finish your fast are you married is it at Maghrib or is Marwan, it at Layl? Marwan are you married the hadith says Maghrib did, the Quran you, says Layl Marwan contradiction Marwan are you married irrelevant are you married irrelevant to the topic let's say he is let's okay. say he is okay do you have dreams nope you don't nope you don't have the male uh, okay <laughs> so okay so if you've never discharged as a male in your life that is not something I'm talking to you uh, about. Do you have ghusl after it? I'm, I'm, I'm coming to the question you're asking. Once again, irrelevant. I'm coming. Irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. It is irrelevant. Every single thing we are discussing no, no, is relevant. It is not you're making it out. Okay. I'm like talking, talking about the, the okay. logic do you, of Do you have a bath after discharging? If, whether you have a wet dream or having, if you've had intimacy with your wife, do you have a bath after it? I do ghusl. Ghusl, why? Because it says ghusl in the Quran. It doesn't say after the after the in intimacy with your wife. Show me now in the Quran where it says that you have to have ghusl after intimacy with your wife or after janaba. Show me. It doesn't spell. Show me, show me, show me. Why do you have ghusl then? Why do you have ghusl then? Because you should clean any part. No, 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 no. Okay, listen. Okay, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. You have ghusl after. What's after after, after Janaba, you're, you're after Janaba, Janaba is backwards. You're working backwards. No, 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 no. You cannot say we do this. No, 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 we don't no, no. find it in the Quran. You see what's backwards? You're running away from the question. This because you're following the logic of the situation. Listen, Marwan, trajectory is backwards. Marwan, Marwan, this is this is what we call hypocrisy at its peak. Okay, hypocrisy at its peak. 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 Hypocrisy and you don't believe in it. You quote it's, the This is the most stupid ago. thing to you do. You don't hadith. believe in something, you start practicing it. You're praying, you're praying, you're making ruku and because, sujood. Because if the Quran does not mandate it, everything else is optional. You understand? Okay. okay. Logic. Optional, optional. Why? Now it's why? optional. Why? Because if it's who not... Said, who said this is an option? We're making progress. Because, yeah. if it's not, because if it's not in the Quran, it is not mandated. You understand the logic You just change your okay. argument Wait. completely. That's, I, not, okay. that's why I'm saying... Marwan, you, when where you, did you get the idea of making ghusl from? Where did you get it from? Because the term is used in the Quran and ghusl yes, means ghusl that that is general ghusl yes yes okay I do general after, ghusl after Janaba no I, I do general I, I, ghusl. I asked a specific question okay do you believe in having a ghusl, having ghusl after Janaba do you simple question be honest do you or not do you believe in it the term in the Quran uses Janaba yeah, no there is no there is no term in the Quran Janaba show me show me there's no Janaba it says Janub okay what is it does it say ghusl okay, so, so, after it does it make ghusl after it? it mentions ghusl i believe if i recall no it correct. doesn't well, show me show me show me and that okay. term junub wait wait that term junub is not for janaba you're talking about i know okay I'm, yeah I'm that, saying, that, so you don't no no that junub is for the neighbor Did you even okay that junub that means no people, no, who, are no, living no, by, no, people no, who are living no, by your side no, it's not no, for no, janaba no, Okay, show me in the so, Quran. So, so you're not going to answer, you're not going to justify the hadith in the Quran. Hello, yes, hello. You, can you not no, see no, what's happening? No, no, he has. No, no. He has. Can you not he see what's not, happening? He has. No. You don't you're accept it. You're taking every other option You have blocked your mind. You completely blocked because your mind. Because the Quran is, should be your Furqan. And if you cannot demonstrate from the Quran, you're using something else as a Furqan. That is the point I'm trying to make. Marwan, can you understand? Why are you acting on hadith? Why are you practicing hadith if you don't believe in it? Because I don't say you have to do anything that the hadith says unless it's in the Quran. 
So why do you make ghusl after janaba? I say I make ghusl before prayer if I need to. I didn't say necessarily after, after, after janaba. Do you believe in making ghusl after janaba? Simple question. Simple question. He already said he does. I, wait, wait, I, I'm I, asking him. I Simple do ghusl for any of the relevant parts. Marwan, why is it so difficult to speak simple English? Do you believe yes, in yes. making ghusl after Janaba? Do you justify the hadith from the Quran? You won't answer that question, you, you expect, expect me to answer someone, a million questions. Let me, let me I, yes, I do. Yes, I do believe someone in that. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I've just answered your question. Can you answer my question now? That, do you believe in making ghusl evidence. after Janaba? Give the evidence. Okay. Do you believe in making? I answer your okay, question. Listen, listen. Can we be fair? We're talking. We're talking about logic here. Theoretically speaking. Stop riding. Stop riding. What logic? I'm not running. Stop riding. Theoretically, Stop riding. Theoretically, Stop riding. theoretically speaking, let's Stop say let's say for the sake of practice, I don't practice anything in the Quran. If we talk about a logical argument and we say yes, the Quran exists and we accept both of it that it should be a book of yeah, it exists. I'm saying I'm book saying demonstrate rain. from that that the hadith is required Some good rain. very good rain. question before i do that no no not before that is the only question i'm interested in right now and you keep on going every other direction okay okay when the quran says when the quran says what does the quran mean by that i believe i believe it's talking about hadith that's in reference to the quran wait how do you know how do you know? because because how do you know? your logic, right? your logic your logic right no because we have evidence in the quran of where where let me, let me finish my sentence before yes. you say where. Sure, sure. We have evidence in the Quran of numerous times, I'd say between 45 if I recall correctly, of the messenger being corrected for something he did in error. Correct? Yes. So for example, why did you leave the hypocrites go <laughs> without <laughs> Allah, the Anja, Allah, Ahmad. Yes. So, okay. so, so if everything that he said is revealed, <laughs> then is it logical that he would have given leave to the hypocrites using the words that come out of his mouth that were supposedly revealed? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. So everything he said was not revealed. Yes or no? Yes. Everything he said was not revealed. Okay, so therefore yes. my interpretation makes more sense than yours. Yes. Okay. No, it doesn't. I'll tell you why. Oh yes, it, you just no, why no, it does. No, no, no. It, I'll tell you why. Okay. Now, you say that only applies to the Quran. Yes. So anything other than the the Quran the Prophet said is not trustworthy, right? Anything that using your logic. Wait. Did you understand his logic? No. Okay. no. Let okay, me no, answer. I'm, I'm, I'm responding. No. Let me answer. So anything the other than the Quran, the Prophet said, is it trustworthy or not? Anything that he says other than the Quran does not become the foundation of deen. Okay, wait. Is it trustworthy or not? The people at his time must listen to him and follow him as the community leader. What if, he's, make, what, what if he's making a mistake? Well, as a human being... I'm using your logic. Because I don't believe in that logic. But I'm using your logic against your argument. So now tell me, if he is saying things X, Y, and Z, pray like this, give zakat like this, what if he's mistaken? What if Allah corrects him after a while? Well, if he corrects him, that answers the question. Okay, so that means a lot of the things Prophet said other than the Quran are correct, right? I would say, yes, that, yes. I would say that the Prophet was not claiming okay. that everything he uh, says was source of religion. Okay, I agree with you 100%. I, I will help you. Even more than that, when, 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 when this is, war, and the war. companions of the Prophet understood that. So when he commanded them to say, so, for example, at the battle of in the Ahzab war, yes. in, in war, he said, can we give half the harvest of this year to Banu Ghatfan to break the alliance of uh, the, the invaders? And the Sahaba, they asked him, Ya Rasulullah, is it your command or is it your opinion? Okay, because they've made a distinction between the two entities. Command is from Allah, Revolution. period. No debate, no discussion. Opinion, they had the option to either accept or reject. So the Prophet said, this is my opinion. This is not an Amr, because Amr is from Allah, even though it's not in the Quran. Even though it's not the Quran, so the Sahaba, they, they, they knew that when he commands, it is from Allah, okay? Even though it's not in the Quran. That's what we call Hadith. That's what we call hadith. Now, so wait. you say hadith is revealed? Yes, 100%. Authentic hadith is 100% revelation. Okay. Yes. What is your evidence in the Quran for that? Wama yantiku anil hawa in in huwa illa wahi yuha. And I use your logic to show you how wrong you are because now you admitted that not not everything other than the Quran the Prophet said was incorrect. Rather. When he was corrected, that's when it, will, it became clear I'm that he was back, incorrect. I'm, I'm going back another way. I'm saying he would not have claimed that anything other than the Quran is in fact source of religious guidance. Okay, I understand that. But anything other than the Quran related to the religion, the companions, did they take it seriously or did they reject it? 
Simple they, question, simple question. I hope you understood it. They would have to follow him as community leader. They would have to follow him. No, as no, 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 no. If he said, how do you know he was the community okay, wait, leader? Wait, how do you know that? Let, the let, he's the okay, wait, wait. In the Quran, thank you. You're making my point for me. So that's no, our point. Yeah, yeah. So when the Prophet told them things other than the Quran, for example, he read the Quran and he told them, "This is Quran. You to do this. For example, do charity like this, or have a ghusl after Janaba, like you do, right? For some reason, okay. Have ghusl after, and they started to do it. Was that Deen or was that optional? Well, first of all, I don't accept that he would have made all these other pronouncements outside of the Quran. Uh, doesn't matter what you accept. But I'm asking you simple question. Did he have companions? Did he have companions? Yes, I did. He did he teach them other than the Quran? Did he teach them other than the Quran? I believe he would not have taught them any religion outside of the Quran. You're not answering my question. I just did, answered your question. Okay. Did he explain the Quran to them? Did he? Uh, some of them came with confusions on the Quran. What does it mean? Okay, did he explain to them? For example, for example, Ya Ukhta Harun. Ya Ukhta Harun, you know the story of uh, when Mary was called the sister of Harun. Okay, and Mughira bin Shoba, one of his companions, went to the Christians of Najran and they heard the, these verses. And they said, hold on a second, this is a, this is a mistake in your Quran. This is an error. And they said, why? They said, Mary was actually not the sister of Harun. Okay, uh, no, no. This Mary, the Mary, Mary, mother of Jesus, was not the sister of Harun. That was another Mary. So the Quran has a mistake because the Quran is talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus, not the sister of Harun and Musa. So this is an error. So Mughira bin Shoba got confused. Okay, he came back to the Prophet. Ya Rasulullah, can you explain to me? They asked this question. He said they are, they are very right. They have asked a valid question because this, this reference to Mary. Ya Ukhta Harun is not a biological reference. It is an honorary reference. Like in the Bible, in the New Testament, uh, Hannah, Hannah is called one of the daughters of David. Is she a physical daughter of David? No, it's an honorary title. So the Prophet clarified and Mughira bin Shoba went back and told them this is an honorary title. Every single uh, pious person in Banu Israel was either called the son of uh, Aaron or the brother of Aaron or the sister of Aaron because of their piety. Okay. Likewise. Now I see a question on this. Yeah. You know it says in the Quran that we have sent Kitab al Mubin and a light. Like Jalal al Din al Sayyidi, probably correct me if I'm wrong, said that this light was the Prophet. Yes. Yeah? So isn't that following his sunnah? So you have to follow There's the There's no evidence that the light is referring to the hadith. Okay, so you don't accept that. You don't accept. That don't accept that. You don't accept that. So that's in the Quran. You've you quoted him. Okay, where, where, where does the where is the Quran likening the hadith to? They have life? made the mind up that they will never accept any reference direct or indirect to, to prophetic so tradition. Let's let's, let's not must let's not use establish it. Let's let's don't, don't let's not. Quran. Okay, no, no, I'm asking you a question now. This is the question I'm asking. When Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught his companions extra Quranic material. Was that part of the religion or was it just gibberish? What was it? It was not part of the religion. So why did they do it? Why did they do it? You think they did it based upon faulty transmission of hadith? No, I don't think it. No, well, I know that you did, did you see them do okay. it? Did okay. you see them do it? So, so, so when did you see them? Okay, wait. No. Did you see the okay. Quran be revealed? No, I did not. No, why do you believe it? Why do you believe it? Why do you believe it? We believe in it so, for the same reason. So the companions, all the Let's other see. things they were doing were simply done for no reason they were just a bunch of fools because, because the quran gives the minimal guidance and it gives the general direction as well of what people should do and if they do extra stuff so all the that, all the commentary of the on the quran by the prophet should be ignored even if it can be shown historically authentic you can't do that how do you understand the quran? no one second by his logic by his own logic how do you do hajj how do you do umrah how do you follow nothing have, you, have, you, have you seen the Quran and seen the Quran? No, I'm just, I'm just asking you. I've actually done that. No, Salah, Hajj and all that. You seem to have studied so much, but you can't give us any so, difference. So when you go for Hajj, what do you do? Actually, I've written a document. I haven't learned it up. I'm happy to send it to you. I've okay. extracted every bit of information in the Quran. Okay, that's so how do you do Hajj? I'm asking you, how do you do Hajj? What do you do? On the 8th of Zul Hijab, what do you do? So in the Quran, it mentions that Hajj can take place in the sacred months. The word used in the Quran is Ashkur, okay? Extra months. So the current practice where it's done only in the first 10 days of Dhul Hajjah or whatever, 
that is in fact un-Quranic because in the Quran it mentions you can do so it you in can the do, month. So you can do Hajj in any other months? The sacred months, yes. That is what the Quran says. I know you don't care about You're that. You're finished, man. You're completely gone. You don't care about the Quran, obviously. It says the well-known months. My friend, my friend, in my friend, this is what happens. The well, does it say months? Does it say that you can do Hajj in the well-known months, in the sacred months? Yes or no? Does it use the plural? Yes or no? Let's read the verse. Let's read the, let's read the I guarantee you it says the plural months. How can you guarantee me when? Because I have read it, that's why. Okay. You will find, in fact, you are yeah, yeah, in error yeah. by only doing it in one month. So which verse is this? Show me. Well, let me get out my document on this. Why yeah, not? yeah. Let's go to the verse and see what, what it says. And I'm sure you will... I'll be correct. That's what, be, that's what I'm okay, sure. Okay, let's see. It's a basic don't understand why we even believe in the Quran. We, you know, well, that's the basic thing. I understand why but, why, but I'm not here to give you a lecture on that topic. I'm no, here to discuss. But it's the basic I'm, of your belief. No, no, if it's you not. Believe the Quran the, is the main no, no, no. Thing, how can you believe the discussion in the Quran? now is it the, is the hadith no. a part of the religion forget based the upon the Quran? Forget it. Forget no, no, it is. There's no yeah, forgetting it. Yes, it is. That is the topic of discussion. Why do you even believe not in the Quran? Why? why do you even believe in the Quran? Okay, me, I can. Doesn't matter why. It doesn't matter. Okay. So when the Quran says, when the Quran says, when the Quran says, so that you explain to the people. You know the verse? One second. One second. You know, one second. Do you know the verse I'm talking about? One second. Three. Two one ninety seven. Two one. If you've studied the Quran and the timings of Salah, you'll only find three. Two one ninety seven. Really. I can send you a document on that if you wish. Before we get to that, I have a, I have a very important question. Two one Quran, it's Quran. Two one ninety seven is what we're talking okay, about now. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. We're talking wait, about Hajj. I promise we'll go. Two one ninety seven. I promise we'll go to that. After this, this is this after is this. okay. No, after no, the, no, no. After, wait, after, wait, wait, wait. Uh, explain to me when Allah says in the Quran here. You believe Allah said that in the Quran, right? Allah revealed the Quran. Wa anzalna, audo billah min shaitan rajim. Wa anzalna ilayk dhikra. We have revealed upon you dhikr which you say is the Quran. لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ So that you explain to people So that you explain to people What has been revealed upon them Okay, now When the Prophet is reading the Quran to them Allah is saying so that you explain to them What has been revealed So Allah is saying that explanation in the Quran is valid Okay, so Where is that explanation of the Prophet? Can you explain? It's not your logic, that's for sure. No, no, sorry. This thing, I have actually written documents on this. I don't recall them all in my mind. Yeah, you have written documents and you don't recall? Because, because actually, I... I'm because actually you don't believe in the information you're writing yourself. That's I why. do believe it. That's why. Anyone who believes in something and writes it, yes. is actually there in the brain. Yeah, it, it, it remains with you. I write okay. it because my memory is shit, that's why. Okay, sorry, my so friend. I, I store it somewhere. Okay, can you explain to me when the Prophet is told in the Quran <laughs> so that you may explain what has been revealed upon them? Upon them. When the Prophet is explaining the revelation, where is that explanation? If okay, he, if he is and, and what is that? What, he, what do we call it? If he is making clear or elaborating to them, it yes. is only based upon the Quran. Okay, fine. So that elaboration, which is not the Quran, because it is elaboration. Is that clear? The elaboration. It's not adding. Okay. The it's not adding. Okay. Example, I'm not. I'm not saying it's adding. I'm saying it's elaboration. Hear my words. That elaboration. Can we? Can we? Can we follow that elaboration? Can you're, we? You're implying it's extra. The okay. Wait. Okay. The explanation is not the words of the Quran. It's an. It is. It is an elaboration. Can we follow that elaboration? Can we? Okay, so let's let's look at this logically. Okay, now give me. Give I, know, I don't care about your logic. Tell me. We don't me, believe in logic. Tell me. We don't believe in logic. I don't use logic to judge the Quran. I don't. You clearly don't no. use logic. No, I don't. I do use logic. Okay. I do use logic. Asking, That's why I'm consistent. You're asking That's me a question. That's why I'm consistent. You're asking me a question. Let me answer it. For I you. don't use logic to understand. Are you going to let me Quran. answer or not? Yes. So, is it correct or is it not correct that throughout the life of the Prophet, after he gave, got his first revelation, he was receiving revelation all the way through? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Now Allah says in the Quran. No, no, wait. How, how do you know that? 
because it's mentioned that? in the Quran that it's revealed bit by bit in order to help him and also we hear from the say they say and then say. So obviously throughout the period he is receiving revelations that help him, that calm his heart. How long answer. did he receive the revelation from? To the best of my knowledge, based upon what's claimed in history, through the period from the Why do you bring the history? To be Why honest, do you choose the... No, honestly, no, no, no. honestly, it's irrelevant to me if it's 21 years. This is very frustrating. No, it's very frustrating. No, no, it's not. No, it is. Not. No, one second. You choose to believe history when you want to believe history, but you you choose not to because, believe certain because, hadith because, because they don't... Because the Quran is the criterion that you must use, not, not some, okay, no, some okay. texts that were... Okay, so, so let's use that criteria. So when the Prophet also, said... Also, wait a minute. Hold on. He asked me a question. Yeah. Let me answer it. So there's two things here. Number one, it could mean that he is making clear based upon the revelation that he has with him. And number two, Allah can send down revelation which, by which it clarifies some previous things. So for example, if we look at Surah number four, Ayah number 176, it says, as in they're asking you, and then Allah answers about the Kalala, correct? So this is what happens. Is it's possible that throughout his life, he is clarifying through the extra revelation possible. of Allah. It is possible. It's not certain. No. Well, the most likely thing is that that is what happened. No, it's not most likely. This is why, is this is you. why you you are no different. So, so you know, the Christians, so it's Hajj the months Christians or here, months. It's they, read, months they read or the months. Bible without the background. They don't care about the history of the Bible. They don't care who said what. They just start reading the Bible and start using their own logic to understand the Bible. And this is why they ended up with 1,000 sects. You go to Christians, they, there is a new sect every single street corner. Okay. With Islam, we have this tradition protecting the Quran it's and its not, meaning. It's corrupting okay. the Quran. So what does what the Litubayyan al-Nas mean? Tell me. So that you can explain to people. Now the Quran is giving authority. Quran is giving credence to that explanation of the Prophet. You're using your logic. Okay. And, and now it is black and white in the Quran where it says, so that you may explain to them what Allah has revealed to them. So Allah is not talking about the revelation itself. Allah is talking about the explanation. Is that explanation authoritative for us? The answer is anything that would not be. The answer is anything that would not be in the Quran is not a valid source of religion from the Prophet or anyone else. Sorry. I go again. Go again. Anything that would not have been the Quran, there was no authority for the Messenger to add anything extra to it. I am. I'm not saying extra. The Quran is not saying he's going to okay. add extras. So, because the Quran, to the contrary, says if you added anything into it, you, you will be punished. Be yeah, thank you. So we're not talking about extras, are we? The Quran is saying to when you explain to them explain. what Allah has revealed to them, that explanation, that commentary, that information to understand the Quran better, where is it, and is it authoritative? Okay, according so to the Quran. So the thing is, you cannot take just one ayah without analyzing the context. There's another place where the messenger says that I have no ability to guide you. You right. understand that? You're familiar right. with that? Yes. I can show it to you. I can, I can quote the words, yes. It doesn't mean so what you what, think it works. What, that what, guidance what? is to Iman, to take Ishad. The verse is, that, Oh Muhammad, you cannot guide those you love. Right? This guidance is Shahada. Al-Islam. This guidance is not explaining the Quran. So now you're again desperately trying to find a way out, but you can't because the Quran is explicitly saying that when the Prophet explains, it is authoritative. If it's not authoritative, show me why not. In the Quran. Go on. That now, would require that would require something and I could send you a document on it. I don't have it all in my mind. Okay, so you don't know, right? You so you I don't know. So at least admit, accept the fact that this verse is problematic for me. I'll go and do research and talk, come back to you later. Yeah. Is that fair? What I can say is that my research on it, which I've documented, I don't have it in my mind right now. Okay, but again, I'll repeat. It is fair to say that this verse is problematic for me. I will go and research it and come back to you. Is that a fair? Do. That's not I don't right? think it's problematic. Yeah. So oh, then explain. Oh, okay, he says it's not problematic. Yeah, 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 explain explain then. When you say I, me, us, we, this is the problem people go to misguide us. Because if you don't go to the first three Ali, we've been here for last no, 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 one no, no, hour. <laughs> and we said all yeah. these things. No, no, no. We've said all but these you things. need to highlight yeah. it. Okay, anyone, yeah. every time I speak to somebody, I speak to Khadiyan, he goes, I understood it, we understood it, us understood it. No, no, we already said that. You're using your logic on yeah, everything. You're using your logic. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'm making a comment. So you think this is not problematic? Can you explain why this is not problematic? I don't. Suratul Nahal, verse number 44. 
I will take my time to recheck my analysis on the topic, but I'm not going to make up something out of my mind. So, so far it is problematic for you? I don't consider it problematic unless okay. I've analyzed okay. it. Let me translate it again. We have revealed, revealed, revealed upon you, you. I understand the okay. words. Don't worry. Revelation. Okay. لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ So that you may explain to people what has been revealed upon them. So it is not revelation Allah is talking about. It is the explanation that I mean, even the explanation how do you is know, authoritative. How do you know the explanation is itself not another revelation in the Quran? Because, no, if, it's it, not. because if it's being it's revealed, not. I know. It's being no, revealed. No, because Allah is saying, لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ so, what, was, what did Allah reveal to them? What did Quran write? So that you may explain to them what Allah has revealed upon them. And so it is not the Quran. And the it is it is something outside of the Quran. It's not information. Because, because if you look, if you look elsewhere, the messenger is made to say that he judges only by the Quran. Yes or no? Where did he say that? Let me get a few. The messenger judges only by the Quran. Okay. And if there's a, if there's a problem, people don't understand the Quran. What happens? The messenger oh. keeps quiet. No, they understand it. They so the messenger tells them, believe the Quran, believe the Quran, believe the Quran. Don't ask me, don't ask me, don't ask me. What do you think would happen to the companions of the Prophet? No, no. When he asks the questions, Allah gives the answer in the Quran. That's why it says, Qalu Okay, they do not find the answer in the Quran. Now what do we do? Well, the Prophet what, can't why, make up why, an answer. Uh, for example, also, why, also the fact that you two, believe in Janaba, Janaba, making Ghusl after Janaba. That's, that's very important. That's very because he has already stated. Hey, I, didn't, I don't make it a requirement. Okay, but but okay. Do you believe? Do you believe making ghusl after janaba? I think it's a good practice. Why? Change it. Why? You don't have to. I never. There is no scientific evidence. There is no scientific evidence uh, to suggest that it is something Listen, uh, recommended. I'm Scientifically, I'm it, 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 it I'm brings back your mojo or something. Anything, like that. anything that's not in the. I don't need that to bring back my mojo. I don't know what health you need for that. So whatever is not in the Quran is not required. That is the general statement. A practice can be good, but it becomes not why, required. Why? Not why, why is it good? Why is it good? What? Okay. What's your definition what's of good? Him? What's your definition of good? Good. Two, what is good? Two one ninety seven. Does the Hajj say in months or months? So why are you drifting to another topic? Because now? you said we we're going to go to that, and we have Let's not go got to. It. So you fail. You fail to address this one, right? No. no. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gave you. Man You I, have no idea what this is. No. No. I said. This is extra Quranic material I, taught by the Prophet. I the Quran posited, is saying it. I posited a possible way and I said, I'm not going to say I have the answer until I've done my analysis. Okay, again. okay, good. But, but, so but, this is pending, right? But, 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 this is pending. Pending. Then, pending. If pending. And if, if, it, if it disproves your understanding, if it does, if it, it's a big if, okay? If it disproves your understanding, then what? Will you change your mind? Then come back. Because you become a hadith, hadithist? If I find I'm in error, because I don't worship the tradition of elders, good, good, I will good. do whatever it takes. Oh, good. Oh, so shake hands with that. Let's go to Hajj. Because no. I, let's go to Hajj. Do what do you mean by that? No problem. Don't worry. Let's do it. Do it. You, you, know, you know the verse, yeah? It's Surah Al-Nahal. Surah Al-Nahal, verse 54. Remember that, yeah? 2197. 2197. Okay. So what does it say about Hajj? What's your point? So discussed? you say it has to be in the first 10 days of Dhul Hajjah, right? You could have just gone to it. Myself. I am saying that because the Prophet taught it. What does the Quran And he himself say? did it. What does Allah say? Himself. Did the Prophet do Hajj? Do you believe he did Hajj? I believe so. Okay, when did he do it? And why do you believe he did Hajj? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you believe. Because you said Hajj, you believe. Because Hajj is a requirement and the messenger would have done it. So, would have done it. So there's no evidence for it. For me, historical evidence, whatever the method it may be, is irrelevant. I believe that the messenger followed the revelation. Okay, do you believe he did Hajj? It's a simple question. Do you believe he did Hajj? I sure do. Why? Because where do you get the information because from? Because he would have followed the Quran. That's why. no, no, no. You, you he, believe because okay. he is belief a Muslim. has to be because he is a Muslim and he follows the revelation. Okay. Therefore, he so, would do it. So there is no confirmed evidence that whether he did Hajj or not, right? There may be, but it's irrelevant. So the matter is doubtful, right? No, no, he did it, but the how do you know he did it? You see, you just okay. When you you're making a claim, Prophet did Hajj, would have and did are two different things. Do you agree? Yes. Would have is still There's doubtful and yeah, possibilities potentially yeah. true. Okay, did means he certainty. did it. Certainty. So you're saying he did yes. based upon what? 
based no. upon the fact that he would follow the guidance of Allah. No, would. No, 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 no. Would. You're again saying the word would. That means doubtful. Because you said I'm, I'm using. No, no. I'm using that because he is dead. No, but how I can't do you say know? Because he is how, Halloween. Then you can't say dead. How do you know about you his character? Dead. How do you know you about his character? Because dead is certainty. Dead is certainty. Are you certain about it? Certain about what? That he did Hajj. What, what, what I believe that he would have followed the Quran and I'm certain about Why do you that? believe <laughs> that for? Why do you believe that for? Because one he would have followed the guidance. Why do you believe he would have followed? I'm, I'm, I'm done. No, no, one second. Ask him what I'm, I'm done with this discussion. Nice talking to you, Marwan. I hope you will go home and think before you sleep tonight that what you follow, whether it's true or not. And believe me, it's life is certainly true. Oh, okay. How are you so certain? He said okay. he's going to go home and check. There is a reason why we are. Because, because there I is a make up things. Marwan, Marwan. There is a reason. There is a reason all these people are hadiths. They're not a bunch of thick. Barbarians, yes. okay. They believe in are, things for a reason. Are Jews okay. thick? Are Jews thick? No. no. Are Christians thick? No. no. But no. we still believe they're in error, right? No, no, no. no. They are. Yes, they, no. Yeah, they are yeah, deliberately yeah, in error. No. They are deliberately. Brother, one, I believe. One, wait, one, wait, one, wait, one. They are you're some. Still, fixed, some are deliberately in error. Thick. People like Jay Smith. He is deliberately. Yes. He's a liar. Yes. I believe. He's is, a liar. He, is he okay. thick? No. He's not thick. No. So he can be intelligent. Are we? Are we deliberately in liar? In in error? Do you think I'm deliberately in error? Do you think most Christians are deliberately in error? Even the intelligent ones? They're ignorant. I, am I ignorant of tradition? Do you think I'm ignorant? Are they do you deliberately? Think, do okay. You okay. Christians can be, uh, they can be sincere and intelligent and wrong. Yes, That's because the they're ignorant. And also because Jews. they're ignorant. They don't know and the history. Jews do I know the history? And intelligent yeah, yeah. Do and I wrong. know the history yeah. of no, our tradition? Do you know the, do I know the, you believe so, you do? No, I, I believe, he more than you. I, I can substantiate standing here. If you ask me questions, why do I believe in that hadith? I was I will substantiate my view as to why I believe it's true. Like the Quran, if you asked me the question which I asked you for 20 minutes and you didn't answer because as to why I believe in the Quran, doesn't matter. It's directly relevant to the topic. Right. It is relevant can, can to the topic. Can I ask a question? Change the topic. Yeah. You know this, uh, this charter? Uh, is it it's fake. Huh? It's fake. It's not real. Is it? Yeah, it's not real. So you, you, okay, it's right. forged. Really? It's forged, yeah. Without even looking at the content, I'm telling you it's forged. Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of these charters attributed to the Prophet are not real. The ones we have are in authentic histories. Tabri has the Treaty of the Jiran. We don't need anything else no, if we have what, that. What does it say? What does it say there? Which charter, charter, charter is this? Monastery. The monastery. Yeah. Marwan, nice talking to you. Again, no hard feelings. We keep talking. Okay. Again. I have no hard feelings. But, okay. understand. but, but I want you to think as to why you believe in things. When you don't have any guards to believe in them. Okay. Uh, how, how about this? this one. One, one thing before I go. Saint Catherine. Is it Saint Catherine, thing. Thing. Is Saint Catherine monastery? Yeah. Yeah. Is a monastery? Yes, yeah. yeah, forgery. Yeah. How about this? Yeah. For me, the, the approach of today's discussion yeah. is not consistent. It's too scattershot. How about? And I am willing to do this in the honest spirit. We pick one very specific topic in the Quran on this topic of basically justifying the Hadith literature as a valid source of guidance. So we can decide in advance what, what it would be. And then we organize a specific methodical approach about it. And only on that one topic we discuss. Are yes. you okay with that? Yes. Of how yes. we derive. Yes. The methodology, how we derive authenticity or certainty uh, of, of, for any document. And then I can challenge you in that debate on your understanding of the Quran. And then you can challenge you to throw, throw the back on the Fahadis. The topic, the topic. But I want to deal with this. Let me finish before you say. The topic I would like to deal with is Is there evidence in the Quran that requires us to follow the hadith as an external and separate source of religious law? Okay. okay so and in that topic, it will, it will be inevitable for us to discuss the Quran itself. It's, it is inevitable. When you use a source as your source of evidence, I said uh, we no, will have to challenge it. No, we just pause it. We and both accept it. Therefore, no. let's do that. Sorry? I'm saying we both accept it, so let's just no, move back. We no. accept it based on different principles, so we're going to So we will have to agree on the usul, uh, the, the methodology of yeah. debate. How do we how do we approach the debate? Okay, what we call the conditions of the debate. Okay, we will have to agree on the conditions of the debate, and let's have a debate. No problem with that. We had a very dis good discussion today. Well, today, uh, today I have to say, no, it wasn't a good discussion, and that's because, unlike you, I don't do this very much, so I don't have everything prepared, ready, ready to go in my mind. I didn't come prepared for this topic. Dude, you have a lot of experience.